Hey everybody, it's Ryan. We are out at my place today. Travis is in the Bobcat with the Vernig Rock Bucket. Jamie's in the 7600 with me. And the 7600 is on the manure spreader. So what we're doing is we are hauling manure out of the barnyard out at my place. If you remember last fall, we had the Meyer spreader from Carl F. Stotts and Sons that we used. And let me tell you, I'm really missing that thing right about now. Made quick work of doing this. But uh, today we're using our spreader. Now over winter, my cattle from being in the barnyard have made another pile. And we're looking to clean it up and we're gonna be taking it out onto the hay ground and spreading it very lightly since we just cut it. And um, we're not gonna be spreading it very heavily at all. We're just gonna kind of lightly gracing everything with it. Now, this pile really isn't much to what the pile usually is. Uh, usually, if we go for a long period of time without hauling out of here, it can be up to here on me. <laughs> so, we're staying ahead of the game. We're gonna keep the manure down and hopefully we can get a good chunk of this gone by the end of the day. So, I'm, meet I'm actually meeting Chad this afternoon. He's coming down to talk to us. So, man, it's hot today. I was walking up, up to the house when I got here, so I had to go grab my camera, and I couldn't hardly breathe because of the humidity. And that, and that doesn't happen very often. So, once Travis fills this up, I'm gonna head out with the 76, and I'm gonna spread the manure. The rock bucket is really handy for picking away at manure pack too, which was an unforeseen use of it. It's getting used for that purpose now. All right, so we just got the first load. This one is going to be very light because you said that there's quite a bit of clay in the front of it. So I'm gonna head out there and pick a strip and then I'm gonna spread it very lightly. Can't hardly even breathe in here. Speed up into the 13th gear. 
you're in eighth right now. Nine, 10, 11, 12. It says 13. 13, there you go. It says up here. Oh, oh. Maintain your speed or else you'll throw out too much more. So about a month and a half ago, Jamie and I were talking. Somehow we got on the top topic of depth perception. And I told her, I don't have any depth perception. And she's like, you're joking. I'm like, no, I really, I don't have any depth perception whatsoever. She's like, I don't believe you. And I said, well, I mean, it doesn't affect me any. She's like, how do you know that this fence post is closer than what's that tree back there. I'm like, well, the fence post is bigger than it should be. She's like, really? Why didn't you ever tell me that? I'm like, I don't know. It just never came up. <laughs> and then here in the tractor about 10 minutes ago, we were driving back in and she's like, you drive so crazy. I'm like, yeah, I have really good spatial awareness. And she's like, I thought you didn't have any depth perception. I paused for a second. I'm like, oh yeah. I forgot that I told you that, that I didn't have any depth perception. She's like, I can't believe you. I, I thought for the last month and a half that you didn't have any depth perception. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I, I completely forgot that I convinced her that she's thought for the last month and a half that I haven't had any, any depth perception whatsoever. I have to be one-eyed to not have a depth perception. <laughs>
many of you are interested in coming to the Farm Progress Show on August 30th in Decatur, Illinois, I will be there at the Rhino Ag booth. So I'm heading down to Decatur and I'm going to be with the Rhino Ag for the Wednesday, the August 30th. And you can come down, you can meet me, you can talk to me, I'll be there. If you weren't able to make it to the farm day, here's, here's another chance. So just thought I'd let you guys know. This is the second to last load that we're doing. They're calling for storms in just under an hour. So we're gonna do this one and we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna color good. So we got quite a big portion of this pile taken out and we did some out in the steer lot as well. There's way too much here just to do in one, one day with this thing, so. Anyway, once I'm done spreading these two, we're gonna pack her up and head home. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time. Oh, that's not looking good. That is not looking good at all.